Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Anthropic announced an upgraded Cloud 3.5 Sonnet in that computer use was one of the feature which grabbed my attention. With that, let's get started. The agenda that I have for you guys is like, I'll give you overview of key features and what are the usage. So coming to the overview, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet takes AI assistance to the next level with its ability to actually use computers. Isn't it amazing? This isn't about understanding code. It's all about executing it and working with real data in real time. Anthropic has just released this feature in public. It's beta version, allowing developers to integrate computer use capability into their applications through API. What you are seeing in, on the screen is a Python code to implement or to use this feature. I have given you the link as well as I'll mention it in the description so that you can explore this and try it out. The code is available here and uh, step by step instructions are given how you can leverage and use this new feature. So I'll mention the link in the description. You can follow this and try this out. Moving on to the next key features. Let's look what Claude can do with computer use. It can execute code and analyze results, work with file and data, process and manipulate information, provide real-time feedback on operations. Let me show you a quick demo on this. Now, who can benefit from this? Developers building automated tools like RPA developers, data scientists working with large data set, business, businesses looking to automate processes. Again, these are the businesses for which we, we build RPA bots right, to automate their processes. Then people who are into research, they need to analyze complex information. They can also benefit from this. Now, how to get started? I told you about one way uh, consuming it through an API. This is how you can get started. Like I have just listed it down. Head to the Anthropics documentation site, which I have already shared with you. You can find it from the description. There's a link. Review the computer use feature API guidelines. Set up your dev environments. If you are a Python fan, you can use Python code. You can use TypeScript. You can use PowerShell. Start with simple implementations. Always remember to check the official documentation for most up-to-date information. This feature is still in beta, so stay tuned for more updates and improvements. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Please drop your questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your time.